give up. Let me give you guys a hint. Chester Copper Pot. Chester Copper Look at this. Chester Copper Pot. Missing while in pursuit of local legend. Reclusive scavenger claims I have the key to one eyed Willie. So today we're going to make this key with the help of the 3D printer. But first, an unboxing. Thought I'd share with you guys my experience with the 2 Auto Pyramid 3D printer that I purchased on Amazon. So right now we're unboxing the printer and as you will see there's a lot of parts and pieces for this printer. It is a good idea that you double check that you have all your pieces and parts before you start doing the install. Because I tell you if you're missing any pieces during the install it's a pain in the butt. So the brand 2 Auto provides this convenient SD card jump drive that contains all of the documentation to do the installation of this 3D printer. They also contain some videos that makes it extremely convenient when you do this install. That being said, let me give you a little preview of the videos that they provide on this SD card. Now this install for myself and my son, it took me about a good three to four hours to complete it. Um, that's just because you know you got other things around you in life and everything and you just got to find the time to do it. As I mentioned, the company provides documentation and videos for the install. We decided to use both to cross reference and just ensure that we're actually doing it correctly. Overall, I was pretty impressed with all the parts and pieces used during this install and the overall experience on the install, my son and I, we had a great time. So after many hours of doing the install, well, my son and I, we decided to do our first run. And what's pretty cool is the company provides you some projects on the SD card to give it a try. So I made the 6x10 frame out of particle board specifically for this melt. And if you see my other videos, I used baby powder to ensure that nothing sticks to the mold. Now comes the fun part, the green sand. I let you guys enjoy the little montage uh, I put together for you guys. Luckily I didn't slam my fingers with all that hammering down, but everything looks good to go. We level everything off to make sure the sand is nice and level. This is when I thought I messed up the mold. I'm trying my best to fix it and hopefully it comes out. So I learned this thing on YouTube that if you use a screw in your 3D printed mold, you can use it as a handle to easily take it out. You can see from here, I'm struggling a little bit, but it does come out. But as you can see, I broke the mold. Luckily, a little bit of touch up, I was able to fix it. I think we're done, and I think we're ready to pour. So as always, I'd like to show you guys my setup for each of our melts. And we got our mold here, ready to go. And we got our ingots ready to go, made from our last video. Let's get our crucible out and let's start feeding it some metal. Get this thing warmed up, ready to go inside the furnace. So I know aluminum melts at 660 Celsius, but we're gonna bump this up to 800 Celsius as I need the molten metal to be nice and hot. Montage.
Now, somebody in the comments said that this looks like the liquid terminator. Oh, it's not far-fetched. Now, let's get this mold ready, and let's start pouring some molten metal. Now make sure you allow the metal to cool down before you pull it. I admit, I made a mistake and I almost cracked the key. I have done a few blunders on some of these videos. You may remember, I forgot to wear gloves on that super hot copper melt. But that's exactly why I make these YouTube videos, to live and learn. So I think the 3D printer has been a great addition to the channel. And it's time to clean up this key. Let's go. Goonies key made by the two auto 3D printer, all by scrap parts from that old refrigerator. Overall results, it wasn't too bad for my first time, but I'll know I'll get a lot better with my technique as I do more and more down the road. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I would like to personally say thank you to all my supporters out there. It has just been two months since starting this channel, and I have enjoyed every part of it. I plan to make more videos, so please subscribe and click the notification bell icon so you're notified of all my upcoming videos. Take care.